Hi everyone, welcome to the fourth and final part of tutorial uploading and cropping image using React Native and Firebase. And in this part, we will be coding our image uploader and cropper. So let's start. And I would like to tell you that if you have come directly to this video, make sure you check the previous videos. Uh, where we have set up the everything needed for uploading image and I will also put the links of those videos in the description box so make sure you check that and before starting I would like to tell you that you need to set a authentication rule in your Firebase app that we created in the first part of the tutorial uh, you will find that the rule is set to request auth equals equals null it just specifies that uh, only when the user is authenticated then uh, he will be able to upload image or any file to the storage but we will make it opposite that is if user is not authenticated he will be able to he will be able to upload the image so let's publish our changes okay now I have the working part of this uh, tutorial but uh, I will be up, uh, transferring the code one by one so that I can make you understand how the code works so first we will transfer the components that we need we need button component image component activity indicator and touchable opacity these are general components of react native which you can or the detail of which you can find in the documentation of react native now we need now we will import the component that we installed that is react native image crop picker the main component for this tutorial okay now we have used a constructor in the constructor we have set up two states that is loading and loading is initially set to false another one is dp dp is initially set to null so loading will be uh, controlling the state of activity indicator and activity indicator will show user that something is happening because when it's rotating then user will see that something is happening and user will wait so it will be a waiting signal and dp will have the url of the image the url uh, where the image is getting uploaded on firebase storage so let's copy this part okay next we have the method open picker this method is being called when the user clicks the change picture link you can see that there is a sorry not here uh, there will be a change picture link that user will uh, tap on and it will call this method open picker so let's code the open picker method when the open picker method is called the set state is the loading state is set to true and when we set loading state to true the activators uh, activity indicator starts rotating so user, user can see that a process is going on next we are initializing all the fetch variables okay so these uh, constants and variables are needed to convert image to its blob format so let's add this code you can just use the code as as it is because these are these will be almost same in every uh, image upload 
feature that you will be do in your projects okay next we have used a dummy uid that is a user id because if you use the authentication part then you will need this user id right now it's just a dummy user id okay next we have called the image picker component and using this image picker component we have called the open picker method this method has some parameters okay that is that specifies how the image will be cropped so when the image is cropped width will be 300 height will be 300 and we have set cropping to true and the media type that will that will be used by this image picker will only be photo type so let's use this so once the image image is picked and cropped uh, object after the image is picked and cropped uh, object is getting returned uh, this image will have this object this image variable and in from that object we will from that object we will get the path of the image this is the temporary path where the image has been stored after getting cropped and we will get this path because we need this path later and we also need a reference to the firebase storage so we are initializing a constant which has the reference to the firebase storage and we are initializing the type the type to which we will convert the image that is we will convert it from blob to jpg and the fs variable that we initialized before the fs constant uh, sorry the fs constant that we initialized before we will use this to call the read file method and this read file method is uh, taking the file that has been uh, stored temporarily and it will convert it into base64 so first it need to be converted to base64 and once it is converted to base64 then the base64 data we are using to convert it to blob and here we are converting it to blob and then returning it so we in the next callback we have the blob part and the blob part we are using to upload to the firebase storage so here you can see that image reference that we uh, initialized here here we are using to upload it to the firebase storage using this put method okay and let's copy it to our main file next uh, next we are returning the downloadable url the url to which the image is image has been uploaded in the firebase storage so this is getting returned and then the we are using this url to change the state of the dp initially the dp state is null and we are once we get the url of the firebase storage we change the dp state to the url and also we are changing the loading state to false because our loading is done and now user shouldn't see the rotating activity indicator 
so we are doing that and in case anything goes wrong then we are catching the exception if everything goes right then this catch exception part won't be called and we also need to add one catch exception in the image picker open picker method so we are adding this exception catch exception to this as well okay so our image picker method is done now we will be doing the render part so in render part also there is uh, quite a lot of things to understand so what we are doing is that we are checking the dp state and if the dp state is false then we are just showing a link change picker and if the dp state is true then we are showing the uri that is stored in the dp state see here the there is a image component that has uri as state dp and this state dp will be uh, this image will be only shown when when there is actually the image in the state dp otherwise the change picture link will be shown and the both the both the uh, components that is whether it's a image or change picture link it has the method open picker aligned to it that is whenever the user will press or tap it then the open picker method will be called so let's we don't need this so let's copy this part okay once we get the dpr whether it's a link to the link called change picker or whether it's a link of image we will store it in dpr and this dpr we will used use it here so we will first check the state of loading whether it's loading or not that is loading is true or false and if loading is true we will show a activity indicator we are showing activity indicator if loading is false we are showing the dpr component whatever we get here so that's quite a simple logic and at the end we are just using this dps that we get here to render the final thing so that's it and this is our uploading and cropping image and this should work okay now let's refresh our app okay so it's showing change picture link because initially the state is set to null and once we tap on it we go to the gallery part so this open picker is opening the gallery for us and we are picking the image so let's pick a image and we are getting the facility to crop it we can crop this image and scale it as well so it will be cropped to 300 into 300 and the scale that we and the way that we move whatever is visible will be in the image so let's choose it and it's showing the activity indicator so the loading is going on and now the loading is complete and image is here so if we go to the firebase storage we should be able to find our image sorry our app is wrong
okay so you can see here we have the same image that we can see in our app so we are able to successfully upload the image and I'm sure you would have enjoyed this tutorial and if anything is unclear or if you find any issues you can just mention and let me know in the comment box and if you haven't subscribed to our channel make sure you do subscribe to the channel and we will be uploading useful and very uh, exciting and helpful videos to for you all so make sure you subscribe to the channel give it a thumbs up if you find it useful and thank you so much and stay tuned we will be uploading more of the useful videos thank you